guys, it's so cold and disgusting. I just had to leave work to go save my husband. My car started this morning, I got to work. They called him in early and the truck wouldn't start and the neon had a flat. So I had to come get him. We are running to O'Reilly's to get like a tank of air or a portable air compressor to go pump up his tire. Oh my goodness, why do I live here? It's so cold. <laughs> Right now, it's warmed up tremendously, and it is nine below. This morning when I got up to try to go start my car, it was like 25 below. Yep, yep. And this is me today. I have a hat, scarf, sweatshirt, tank top, heavy winter lined coat, and these nice little muckluck glove things. Oh my gosh, and I'm still cold. My legs are freezing. So hopefully the heavy will get his vehicle fixed so I can get back to work. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going. That's how it's going. Yay. Hi, Mr. Yeah. Teething Boy. Mm. Were you so good when you were shopping? <gasps> Mama's so hungry. <laughs> Say, Mama's so hungry. <laughs> the funny. Hi, Mr. Chubby Cheeks. Show everybody your cute little face. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. so good. I just want to go home and eat. Hello. Mommy's hungry too. <gasps> Mommy's so hungry. You want this? You will only use it as a chew toy. Nom, 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 nom. I love you. I love you. Hi guys, it's Sunday and we are house hunting. Yesterday was a big day. We had Jackson's baby dedication at church and then we went and looked at a big house in a small town like 30 minutes away from where I work and Callie goes to school. So the house was amazing and huge and had tons of storage space but only has one style garage. But there are not very many drawbacks to that house. And then we're looking at four today. We already saw one and it was a no-go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna go look at a really cool historical house and then a couple others. Let you know what's happening. Hi guys. So yesterday was a bit of a crazy day. Um, I think last I updated you, we were house hunting. Turns out every house we saw yesterday just sucked. We got home pretty early. We were supposed to be gone till like four. Sorry if you see anything. Little man is uh, distracted. He's supposed to be eating. Um, so we got home at like uh, 10 to two instead. Like we would walk in the house and I'd be like, uh uh, like it was just bad. <laughs> Someone's little tootsies right there. What are you doing? Um, but Callie earlier in the morning had complained that she had a headache, but she didn't have a fever. Nothing else was wrong. So I'd given her a little bit of Tylenol and she went to the birthday party. Uh, when she got home, she still looked kind of tired and a little off. So I was like, why don't you just go take a nap and maybe your headache will go away. Um, and at the birthday party, there was only like just a couple kids um, besides the kids I nanny for. Um, it was one of their birthdays. So, uh, it was a last minute party. We had already had plans to go see the house. So they told us to just drop off Callie. That's what was happening. So, um, after she woke up from her nap, I was like, oh, she felt really hot. So I took her temperature. She was 102.7. Um, I gave her ibuprofen. Uh, I was alternating between Tylenol and ibuprofen. So after an hour or so, I took her temp and it was down to 100.5. I mean, it was working its way down. So I figured, you know, next time I took her temp, it would be down to normal, maybe. Um, the next time I took her temp, it was back up to 101.7. And I was like, this just isn't normal. I asked her if she had anything else. She had a stiff neck, like, could be meningitis. My husband had meningitis when he was a kid and almost died. So, you know, the things that run through your head as a mom. I was like, I'm not a nurse. What, what do I do? Do I bring her in? So I called my sister-in-law. And she's a nurse. And I asked her, and I was like, I just don't know what to do. She goes, go with your gut. If something feels weird, she goes, just take her in. So it was like 8 o'clock at night. And Dennis ended up taking her in because it's crabby hour for Mr. <laughs> Get your foot down, little one. Um, and he would have just wanted to nurse the whole time. And he's been teething and crabby and all that. So Dennis took her in. But it was also freezing rain when we had to take her to the emergency room. So Dennis said that the roads were so bad he almost like spun out in the middle of 
like the main street in front of our house. Um, he said on the way back, he tried stopping like he was going maybe 20 miles an hour. He tried stopping and it took like a whole block to stop and he almost slid right through the intersection. He said it was horrible. Um, turns out she has influenza. We also have a five month old baby that we have to try not to get influenza. It's just nuts. And I was supposed to work at 6 a.m. today. Um, I asked Dennis if he could take a sick day. He couldn't today. Uh, it just, it was crazy. So I messaged my boss in the, at like 9, 9.30 or 10. She was working overnights um, at the hospital. Usually she responds right away. She didn't respond. She didn't respond. We had to wake up in the middle of the night to give my daughter um, more medicine. Um... She still hadn't responded. It was like 2 in the morning. I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. I told her what went on. And she is a nurse. She has four kids. And I was like, I'm sure she's not going to want me to come in. But sometimes she makes me come in. Like, I I don't know. So I said, it's up to you. But I'm going to have to bring Callie with me. So finally this morning, about 4-ish when I woke up, um, I saw that she had left me a message. And it said, ugh. That's what she put. And then she went, no, stay home. I'll just figure something out. I was like, oof, does. Alrighty. That sounds great. So, I am at home today with the little munchkins. <laughs> what do you want, Mr. Crab? And I'm checking his temp all the time. His is normal so far. Mine is normal. Just my daughter. But at least she's feeling, ugh. Nothing would take her headache away yesterday. Sorry. Hey, do you need a burp? <sighs> so it's been a little bit of a crazy time. And then the one house that we really liked, it was like 30 minutes away. It was in a little town. It would have been a 30 minute drive for me to, well, 34 minute drive for me to take my daughter to school every day. Do you got food on this side of your face for breakfast? Um, and in the winter, that was going to be really bad. But the house was like huge and beautiful and super cheap because it's in a crappy little town. <coughs> hey. Um, yeah, I told my brother and sister in law when I was on the phone with them, I said, Would you still love us if we lived there? And they're like, No, don't move there. That's a big mistake. You would get no like resale value out of your home. And they're like, Just don't do it. Just wait. Soon all the houses in Minnesota will be popping up on the market. It's true during winter it's like the off season and it there's hardly any houses to choose from but I don't know what to do there's just so much stress right now I'm like <sighs> but I mean even through all the stress there's been so many blessings like there's hidden money that we didn't even know about there yeah making it easier for us to buy a house but it's super hard to choose the right one for your family do you choose a smaller house closer to school do you choose a bigger better house further away like oh my goodness I didn't know how something was so stressful um but when you have two little kids and I want more down the road too like I don't know, trying to choose the best option for your family is hard do you want to talk to you? oh okay okay oh Mr. Squishy Bottom oh it's squish 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 I'm like all over the place. All over the place. Sorry. We're going to get little munchkin and you can see him. Okay. I'm so sorry. Hey. Hi. Hi, Mr. Squish Squish. Are you so sweet and crazy? And every time he gets like angry and sweaty, his hair gets so curly on top. You got crazy hairs this morning? Ooh. Oh, and food on your nose? Yes. You want food on your nose? Oh, there. Hey, did you have some blueberries this morning? Yeah. Say hello. He loves to just look at himself. <laughs> I have a vain little boy. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Are you tired? <laughs> My poor other little baby's upstairs. She's just getting screen time, though. She's like, can I have screen time? It's like, all right, you have influenza. You're miserable. Go ahead and have screen time. All right. 
I'm going to talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hopefully he doesn't get sick. Sorry if you saw a little too much there. Um, why is this not focusing on me? Okay, so I just want to be honest with you guys about everything that's going on. Um, when I get stressed out, I eat crap. And that's how I have always been. And I don't want to use that as a crutch. I don't want excuses. So I am being accountable to you guys. And I have noticed the scale go up a pound or two. And I don't like it. I am trying really hard to lose the baby weight. <laughs> you just want to be the center of attention, don't you? Um, so, sorry guys. Uh, okay, with all the house hunting stuff and then Callie getting... Uh, influenza and I'm trying to keep her away from Jackson and it's just super stressful <laughs> I don't I don't know I feel guilty when I'm not at work because we can't go in there and get everybody else sick um, it's just been really 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 stressful and I think yesterday I had a piece of cake and it's just it's bad so the bad eating stops right now there's no excuse for me to go back to bad habits um, Especially when I'm stressed because that could be every single day of my life. I can't turn to food. I have to just deal with things. And so today, what I have eaten so far, I just made scrambled eggs and turkey sausages for breakfast. I was like, cut the crap out right now or it's really, really hard to stop. Um, yes. I just wanted to, to tell you, you know, even though it's been like two years, since surgery, there are still times, many times, that you just revert to bad habits. Like, when life is crazy and chaotic and stressful, you're like, oh, I don't have time to eat anything healthy. I have time. I have plenty of things. I have fruit chopped up. I have yogurts. I have string cheese. I have, you know, so many things that I could just grab and go. And instead, I'm like, mmm, but that looks better. Let's grab that. Or, you know, whatever. You're, you're just wanting nummy, delicious, fattening, carby foods. And that's always going to be a problem. Weight loss surgery or not, and I just need to get my crap together. I was like 186 this morning. I just need to stop before it gets creeping back up. <sighs> anyway, that's what's happening. But life, there's still wonderful, amazing blessings going on, even when I'm talking about the stressful stuff that's going on. So, House hunting might be crazy and stressful trying to figure out what the best option is, but at least we have options. I don't have to live in this house forever. Like, it's just, I will go more into depth about the crazy, like, miraculous things that are going on right now. I have a crabby little boy and a sick little girl, so I will get into all that later. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.